Subscribe to our channel and click on the bell button to receive important financial updates faster than anybody else. Friends, welcome to another video on your channel Profit Inquities. In this video, we'll be talking about Carvey's top stock picks for the year 2019. Also friends, if you are benefited by the content we produce on our channel, please don't forget to like and share these videos as this helps the channel grow and motivates us to produce more such content in the future. Please watch this video to know more. Now the first stock on the list is ICICI Bank Limited which is available at Rs 365.20 and the face value for it is 2. The target price here has been set at Rs 440. The symbol for it is ICICI BANK. Now ICICI Bank Limited is a banking company engaged in providing a range of banking and financial services including commercial banking, retail banking, project and corporate finance, working capital finance, insurance, venture capital and private equity investment banking, broking and treasury products and services. Now the performance of ICICI Bank continues to underlie the traction in the recovery and stability in the core operating matrix. The headline loan growth numbers show improvement as the quarter saw lesser drag from the stress book. Going forward, Carvey continues to see levers for return on equity improvement. They expect return on equity of close to 13% in FY 2019-20. to Also the headline asset quality ratios GNPA improved to 8.54%, the net NPA to 3.65% and the coverage ratio improved to 59.5% compared to GNPA of 8.81%, net NPA of 4.19% and coverage of 54.8% recorded in Q1 FY 18-19. Now as is evident from the one year chart, the company has been really choppy. However, of late it has started a beautiful uptrend. It may also be forming a technical chart pattern which is called a rounding bottom formation. The market cap here is 2,35,196.23 crores which means that the company is a large cap one. The EPS of 5.37 translates into a very expensive price to earnings ratio of 68.01 when compared with the industry PE of 33.60. The company has a dividend yield of 0.41% whereas the initial promoters of the company don't hold any stake. The 52-week high for the company stands at 375.30 whereas the 52-week low is 256.50. Now the second stock on the list is Ashok Leyland Limited which is available at Rs 96.80 and the face value for it is 1. The symbol for it is A-S-H-O-K-L-E-Y. The target price here has been set at Rs 150. Now Ashok Leyland Limited is a holding company engaged in commercial vehicles and related components. Through its subsidiaries, it is engaged in the manufacturing and trading in medium and heavy commercial vehicles, light commercial vehicles, passenger vehicles, automotive aggregates, vehicle financing and engineering design services. Now, Carvey expects Ashok Leyland to benefit as the Indian MACV industry is expected to report 10-12% to growth in volumes in FY19 on account of a pickup in construction and infra spending in the country. New product launches lined up in the MACV segment is expected to see better traction. Also, the investment of around Rs 4 billion over the next 3 years to introduce an entire range of LCV models between 2.5 to 7 ton will strengthen the product portfolio. Ashok Leyland has improved its market share from 33.5% to 35% in the domestic MACV industry during H1 of FY19. This is despite aggression from competitors which has led to an increase in discounts in the previous few quarters. However, Going forward, Carvey believes on account of strong demand buoyancy, the competitive intensity led by pricing is likely to decline, which augurs well for Ashok Leyland. At PER of 15 cross FY20, Carvey sees favorable risk reward and rates the stock as a buy for a target price of Rs 150. Now looking at the one year chart, the company went on an uptrend towards the initial part of the year, but since then has been on a steep downtrend. The company has a market capitalization of 28,415.90 crores, which means that the company is a large cap one. The EPS of 6.63 translates into a very cheap price to earnings ratio of 14.60 when compared with the industry PE of 25.38. The price to book ratio of 3.97 is also not wildly expensive. The company has a dividend yield of 2.51% whereas the promoter holding is just below average and stands at 45.35%. One concerning factor is the debt to equity which stands at a high number of 1.6935. Now the third stock on the list is Suntech Realty Limited which is available at Rs 347.30 and the face value for it is 1. The target price here has been set at Rs 497. The symbol for it is S-U-N-T-E-C-K. 
Now Suntec Realty Limited is a real estate development company primarily engaged in the business of real estate, real estate development and incidental services. The company is engaged in real estate activities with own or leased property and its business focuses on designing, developing and managing residential and commercial properties. It is focused on city-centric developments spread out across the Mumbai metropolitan region. Now the company derives a large part of its revenue from its ultra-luxurious project at Bandra Kodla complex and mixed-use development projects at Oshiwara district center. These projects are capable of generating an operating cash flow of more than Rs 30 billion over a period of the next 3 to 4 years. The company has launched its affordable housing project on 100 acres land parcel at Naigao, Mumbai and has already sold close to 2000 units worth more than Rs 600 crores during the launch of the project in September 2018. Now looking at the one year chart, the company was flat during the initial part of the year then went on a spike post which there was a correction and off late it is flat again. The company has a market cap of 5082.27 crores which means that the company is a mid cap one. The EPS of 12.13 translates into a price to earnings ratio of 28.63 which is slightly more expensive when compared with the industry PE of 23.27. The price to book ratio of 3.17 is however not wildly expensive. The company has a debt to equity of 0.2086 whereas the return on equity is 0.1018. The dividend yield here is 0.43% whereas the promoter holding is a strong number and stands at 66.75%. The 52 week high is 527.35 whereas the 52 week low is 295.80. Now the next stock on the list is Menon Bearings Limited which is available at Rs 87.55 and the face value for it is 1. The target price here has been set at Rs 120. The symbol for it is M-E-N-O-N-B-E. Now Menon Bearings Limited is encased in the manufacturing of auto components. The company's product portfolio includes bimetal engine bearings, bushes and thrust washers for light and heavy automobile engines, two-wheeler engines and compressors for refrigerators, air conditioners and others. It undertakes designing, testing, validation and manufacturing of bearings, bushes and thrust washers for a wide range of applications. Recently, Menon has invested Rs 40 crores for the enhancement of aluminium division to de-risk its product mix. Considering the order book position and traction, Carvi expects a revenue CAGR of 16.5% during FY18-20 to along with EBITDA margins stabilizing around 27% by FY20. Looking at the one year chart, the company has not really done much and has been an underperformer majorly throughout the year. However, of late there has been a spike. The company is a small cap with a market capitalization of 490.63 crores. The EPS of 4.48 translates into a price to earnings ratio of 19.54 which is dirt cheap when compared with the industry PE of 45.89. The price to book ratio of 6.37 is however wildly expensive. The company's debt to equity is 0.3863 whereas the return on equity for this company is a very strong number and stands at 0.3173. Men and Bearings has a dividend yield of 1.71% whereas the promoter holding is also a very strong number and stands at 70.90%. The 52 week high is 126.50 whereas the 52 week low is 70.10. Now the final stock on the list is Relaxo Footwears Limited which is available at Rs 749.80 and the face value for it is 1. The target price here has been set at Rs 911.00. The symbol for it is R-E-L-A-X-O. Now Relaxo Footwear Limited is engaged in the manufacturing and trading of footwear and related products. The principal activity of the company is the manufacture of footwear made primarily of vulcanized or molded rubber and plastic. Now Relaxo Footwear Limited continues to hold a dominant market share in the low priced branded space. The company has been one of the best performers in the footwear space in the last few years clocking revenue and pad growth of 14% and 29% CAGR in the last 5 years. On the back of increasing customer base and focus on higher value products, Carvi expects return on equity of close to 23% for FY19 to 21. Looking at the one year chart, the company had been on an uptrend towards about 3 fourths into the year, since then had a fall and off late it's been choppy. The company has a market capitalization of 9030.02 crores, which means that the company is a mid cap one. The EPS of 14.70 translates into a price to earnings ratio of 51.01 which is largely in line with the industry PE of 46.72. The price to book ratio of 11.86 however is very expensive. The company has a debt to equity of 0.2117 whereas the return on equity for this company is 0.2378 and is a strong number. 
the dividend yield is 0 0.20 whereas the promoter holding is also a very strong factor for this company and stands at 74.25 percent the 52 week high is 873.60 whereas the 52 week low for the company is 564 now friends please don't consider this to be a recommendation on our part please go ahead and do your own research this and all other content that you see on our channel is intended to be a piece of news also we'll be providing a link to the source for this video in the description section please go through it to build more conviction around your investment decision thanks for watching and if you have not yet subscribed to this channel please consider doing so